Hello gamers! In today's video we will learn how to install apps gaming mode, how to unlock FPS and change field of view. In the second part you can see side by side comparison of all apps gaming techniques. Keep in mind that modding in Elder Ring requires to play with the Zabe Easy Anti-Cheat. We will cover this too. To start we have to download Temporal Super Sampling mode and small tool with charming name, Elder Ring FPS Unlock and more. Now prepare folder with downloaded files and game folder of the Elder Ring. Unpack everything from upscaling more active and drag and drop everything to the game folder. For future here you can update files of your desired upscaler by just putting them to the bin in IRSS folder. Currently mod already have newest versions of all upscalers. Now open Elder Ring FPS Unlocker and tick frame rate lock and change POV option. I picked 120 FPS because it's double of my monitor refresh rate. It's important to always start game with this small tool to disable easy anti-cheat and play offline. In the left top corner you should already see notification of upscalers mode. Now FPS should be unlocked. If not, in a moment we will fix it. Click home button and here you can pick your desired upscaling technique. In case of DLSS you can also change preset. Usually I use F or E. Last important thing and my recommendation is to disable depth of field. This is not official upscaling implementation and algorithm cannot distinguish what is post-processing effect and what's not, causing artifacts, like here. Using FPS Unlocker you can also change field of view in real time. If your FPS stayed locked regardless of previous changes, or you have 60Hz monitor, we need to disable vsync in the game. To do so, download NVIDIA Inspector, link as always in description. Open it and in the top left corner type Elden. Pick Elden Ring, find Vertical Sync and pick Option Force Off. Click Apply Changes and now FPS should be unlocked. It's a time to take a look over comparison between upscaling methods. I divided it to stationary, vertical and horizontal movement scenarios. Usually upscalers handle quite good vertical motion and it's worse with the horizontal one. Stationary side by side. Vertical motion. Horizontal motion. None of the upscalers looks bad. For me upscaling to higher resolution like 1440p, 1620p or more still looks by far better than 1080p. FSR have a significant ghosting, SES is doing a bit better in this matter. And what is left now is me wishing you a great fun in Elder Ring. And a lot, a lot of patience. Please consider also subscribing our channel. You can find here gaming related content and there will be more. So, see you soon.